let me just welcome you to New Finance in our March open mic night. Um, tonight we're going to deal with virtual currencies. So our first speaker is Sandrine from Newcoin. Thank you, Eddie. That's, that's just for the, for the video editor. Woo! Okay, so first I have to say I'm very happy to give the very first presentation of uh, Newcoin tonight. So very short introduction. So I'm Sonlin. I joined the Newcoin project uh, in June uh, 2014, I'm the head of community, but I also have a lot of other different roles uh, at Newcoin because we're a startup. Uh, if you want to do so, you can email me at sonid at uh, newcoin.org or ping me on Twitter after this presentation if you have any questions. So what is Newcoin? Um, Newcoin is the first cryptocurrency that is easy and useful for regular consumers free to get started with close to zero friction, distributed to all who grow its value and utility, developing tangible utility over traditional currencies by creating platforms for microtransactions, and supported by well-funded nonprofit foundations dedicated to maximizing its value. So I hope you appreciate the daily Dilbert. It's basically kind of uh, representing how hard it is today to use Bitcoin, actually. So the first question you may ask yourselves today actually is like, why the hell did they create yet another competitor of Bitcoin? Because, uh, so I think you're all aware that creating an altcoin is actually fairly easy and there are today hundreds of uh, altcoins out in the space. So like a lot of people here, we do believe that cryptocurrencies can reshape the way we transact. So as you, I think, are all aware, like uh, cryptocurrencies have a lot of advantages over traditional payment methods. So the first one is um, so greater privacy. Second one would be uh, easier and cheaper international payments, and also uh, the ability to make micro payments. So basically, the ability to make uh, payments of a fraction of cents to one dollar, for example. But coming back to Bitcoin, which is supposed to be uh, the most successful uh, cryptocurrency out there, Bitcoin really suffers from uh, really big uh, adoption issues. Uh, if you look at this graph, for example, you can see that Bitcoin's ad ad adoption curve is pretty flat. Uh, and this is for uh, several reasons. The main reason why it is so is actually because Bitcoin actually provides no utility whatsoever for main mainstream consumers as is today. Um, like Coinbase, for example, uh, or the main uh, Bitcoin uh, companies today, what they do is just offer the ability for consumers to pay uh, with Bitcoin instead of paying with a credit card, which is not super useful. Like, as a mainstream consumer uh, in, a, in, a, in, in a developed economy, I think that paying with my credit card works well enough. Other issues are around uh, the protocol itself, so I'll go very fast over this because uh, our white paper is actually coming out very soon. So we're releasing a white paper which covers proof of work and proof of stake and which also explains what is our implementation of proof of stake. Um, but just to like, illustrate this very quickly, basically what happens is that if you really look deep into the subject, in the long run, uh, low transaction fees and high security are just uh, impossible together. And that's a fact. We can discuss it later if you want. Another thing is, if you look at mining right now, there is this, this huge problem that we'll, I think we're all aware of this. Uh, mining is uh, consolidating and it's a real problem in terms of, uh, of security because mining is basically in the hands of only three to four uh, big companies. So back to what Newcoin is actually is, based on all what, what I just said, uh, we saw that there is actually room for a new digital currency that actually offers real benefits over traditional payment methods and that offers a better distribution uh, and security mechanism. Um, back on the real benefits over tradi traditional payments, um, 
when I say this, it means that we're choosing one uh, particular um, use case for our cryptocurrency, which is actually micropayments. So when we say micropayments, it's not just tipping, right? It's also the ability, for example, uh, to like have a really small subs subscription business model. For example, you can picture a video producer or just like a musician who would say, hey, so I have a video channel on YouTube and I'd like to monetize my content. So I could, for example, think of a da daily, um, daily subscri subscription of, a, of $1, for example, or one cent even better. So microtransactions are very powerful for a digital content uh, creator. So that's what we're tackling here. Uh, so our plan here uh, to, to dive deeper into the subject, um, at inception, uh, in spring 2015, we will have 3 billion new coins that will be created, right? So these 3 billion new coins will be distributed the following way. First, some will be given away for free to companies for making the currency more useful. Some will be distributed to consumers uh, for free as well for just trying out the currency on micropayment platforms. And some will be sold to investors to fund development and applications. And this is where we actually have our uh, virtual circle. So the fact that we can actually sell some new coins that will be held by nonprofit foundations enables us actually to have to gather enough funds to be able to incentivize the creation of micropayment applications. And thanks to these micropayment applications, we will attract more users, which in turn will buy new coins and will then fund other projects. So this is the circle. Our huge um, advantage also with the 3 billion pre-mine is the fact that it offers us the ability to add this premium strategy. So one of the problems today uh, with Bitcoin is that actually, um, if a user wants to, for example, tip someone on thanks to change tip, for example, he has to figure out what Bitcoin is, um, set up a wallet, uh, get verified on an exchange, um, for example, uh, and just all that just for, for the benefit of tipping five cents to, to someone. So basically it will never happen. So here, th thanks to the 3 billion new coin, we're just able actually to give new coins for free, which is super powerful. So new coin will, so users will just like try the micropayment application and then uh, because they will see that new coin is actually useful for them, they will buy new coins to be able to use them on micropayment platforms. So this is a very quick uh, example of this. Uh, we already have partnerships for micropayment platforms. Um, so the first one here I'm showing is with Django, which is a, a, a music platform of 8 million uh, listeners per month. Um, I'll go very, very quickly on this slide. Uh, so we're a proof of stake coins. Um, what it means is that we have very different parameters from, uh, from Bitcoin. And what I want to tell you is that proof of stake actually works. And that's what we've been researching in the past 10 months. And we've actually been uh, working on this huge white paper that has like maybe 40 pages. And it's coming out next week. So I'm really impatient that for you to read it actually. So about this uh, pre-mine, I know pre-mine in the cryptocurrency sphere is uh, something that is very controversial. So it's very important for us to be very transparent about how it's uh, allocated. And actually, you can see here that what's in it for the founders is fairly simple. F founders get 6.7% of the 3 billion uh, pre-mine new coins. And the rest are allocated between the angels uh, the seed investors and uh, some, some new coins will al also be sold to investors in a pre-sale. Another thing that is very important is that we're all here in the long run, the founding team and us. 
So that's why we have all these uh, very strict resale provisions that you can see here. So basically, we cannot just run in a pump and dump, and that's very important. So we're a team of 10 full-time people, so we're already a consequent team. Uh, the founders, uh, Daniel, that, that just arrived, actually, <laughs> they have created multiple um, uh, user consumer services that have uh, millions of users. We also have strategic advisors uh, from Spotify, from King.com, from also from the Bitcoin Foundation, and Jackson Palmer, who's the creator of Dogecoin. We we uh, raised one million uh, dollars in funding with from execs from Uber, Facebook, Hotwire, and other pretty interesting uh, consumer service companies. Here is our timeline. Um, in March 2015, we will release that white paper I've been uh, referring to. In April, we will conduct a pre-sale. And in spring, we will actually launch Newcoin at last. That's what we've been all waiting for. And uh, by the end of 12-15, uh, we expect to be able to launch our first micropayment pilot. So here are a few resources for you you can use. Uh, so. The one thing I want to emphasize on is our forum, because we have a pretty awesome community so far. So if you want to join us, you're all wel welcome, and you can ask any questions, critical or just saying we're awesome. <laughs> and uh, happy to answer any questions now. Thank you. Can we have any questions for Sandrine? Um, why did you decide to use proof of stake at all? You could have just pre mined and stopped after 3 million, for example, and the rest would have been a relaunch later for proof of work. Well, okay, so proof of stake enables us, for example, so I, I actually deleted one slide on this presentation, but it would have been very useful right now. Uh, so we're using very high proof of stake awards, which has amazing uh, advantages for us. One of these advantages is it actually enables us to um, reward early adopters who bought in early. So that's the first thing. And also this high proof of stake always also enables us to, um, to solve uh, one of the big security issues in proof of stake. So I'm not sure, like proof of work models for us, just like I explained at the beginning of the, of the presentation, just don't work in the long term. So that's why we chose to like be mainly a proof of stake coin, and we, we firmly believe in this. And it's, we've been researching this too. Okay. Any other questions? Sandrine, thank you very much. Thank you.